like any good training montage, it starts with shopping. How exciting. So, uh, basically, uh, for the sake of our Tyrogue, we need to buy eight of these, which is very expensive, which is like all of my money. But with all these eight irons, as you can see, uh, we're going to go ahead and have a... Okay, well, well, let's look at his stats first. What we need is his defense to be higher than his attack. Right now, it's 23 and 19. Now, if I give him... I, I, I did uh, go ahead and figure this out, and if I give him nine irons, which luckily I got one uh, last episode at some point, so uh, I only had to buy eight, but uh, if we give him nine irons, we will get ourselves uh, Hitmonchan, basically, which kind of sucks that to be so expensive, and you can sort of uh, manipulate... E um, is it, yeah, Eevee training, and not like, you know, the Eevee Pokemon, but like, uh, it's basically, each Pokemon has an inherent Eevee value. When you beat them in battle, uh, your Pokemon will gain that Eevee value, and uh, you can have up to like, I think, 500-something of them, and uh, basically it helps determine your stats. So you could use that to sort of manipulate and make his defense higher than his attack that way, and that's probably the normal way to do it. And also, these medicine drinks just sort of give you EVs on their own. So, um, we're actually just increasing the EV value, not actually, like, it's not actually a stat booster, which is why it eventually runs out and you can't give anymore. That's basically how it works. So now that we've boosted his, uh, defense EV, basically, if you can see, his defense is now 24, and his attack is 23. He's not gonna gain more than one in each stat, so really, at this point, you know he's gonna be a uh, Hitmonchan. So, without further ado, let's go train him! Oi! Fatty, give me your leftovers. I want your leftovers. Yes, give them to me. Thank you. More leftovers. This is why I love having this guy. It's pretty awesome. All right, I think this should be it. Two cannons, gross level 21. And uh, well, it basically evolves at level 20. So uh, here we go. Tyrogue is evolving. Who is he going to become? Oh, look at that! It's a Hitmonchan. The reason I'm obviously picking Hitmonchan is just the type coverage on Hitmonchan is absolutely incredible. So I really want to use him instead of Hitmonlee or uh, Hitmontop. Which, uh, Hitmontop, if your attack and defense are equal, that'll happen. But, uh, he wants to learn the move Faint! Well, that's not a very good move, but, uh, sure, let's take a look. Um, yeah, I don't really care for that move, to be honest. I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna teach a bunch of really good moves, like, right now, anyway. So, uh... Let's go give him some moves, because, you know, moves are what make the world go round. So, uh, Focus Punch, actually, well, before I do that, I do want to check something. What his, what ability did I end up getting? What ability are you? You're our Iron Fist, yes! Boost the power of punching moves, which includes moves like Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Mega Punch, Focus Punch, basically anything with the word punch in them. Sky Uppercut, I think, also counts. So, because of that, I'm going to teach him Drain Punch, because, you know, if he already gets a boosted Drain Punch, then why not? It makes sense for him to have... Why can Tappany learn Drain Punch? What is wrong with the world? Fake Out is actually a very interesting move to have on a Hitmonchan, but I'm not going to bother. Um, anyway, going to give him Helping Hand, because I can. And uh, there's other moves that we can get right now. And I think, you know what, I think if we go to uh, the Move Tutor guy, we can get something else, too. So let's do that. I like that idea. Um, so, yeah. This is gonna be a very long training montage, and then a, probably a very long, like, uh, episode on top of it. So, I don't care, though, because it's a bonus video. So, screw the rules, I have bonus. We're gonna go over here now, and I'm going to be able to teach him another move using this guy of the heart scales. It's a good thing I have Thief, I can just steal heart scales from, uh, Love Discs all day, every day. But I believe he can also learn, um, Mock Punch. You can also learn Bullet Punch, that is boosted by Iron Fist, but at the same time, uh, Mock Punch is Stab, so I like it better. And I don't really need any more coverage than f um, Fighting Ice and Thunder is my plan, so uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of Foresight. And eventually, uh, in the stream montage, he's going to learn Ice Punch and Thunder Punch, and also Fire Punch, but I don't need Fire Punch, I just need Ice and Thunder Punch, really. So, uh, that's gonna be pretty awesome. I will see you guys in a bit, then. So what's going to be next on the list? We're going to train this guy right here. Um, Miss uh, Happiny over here. Kung Fu. Because he's a Koopa. And he Kung Fu's all the time. And what you need to basically do is give it an Oval Stone and evolve it in the daytime. So that's precisely what we're going to do. I will see when that happens. Alright, there we go. 
So I kind of actually got like two levels in the meantime because I kept having the experience share and babies grow really fast. Like, wow. But once I'm actually holding the oval stone, I will finally get myself a Chansey, which is going to be pretty awesome. I'm actually pretty excited to have a Blissey. That's going to be pretty fun. Now, uh, Blissey, I evolved from Chansey to Blissey when I'm at max happiness. So basically, it's something that's just going to happen un out of nowhere unexpectedly that I'm not going to expect, which is going to be pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah. But while we're here, once again, time to learn a bunch of new moves, which involves going back to the move tutor and using our last heart skill, which kind of sucks because that means I'm going to need more heart skills because Tor Turtwig, Torterra, is going to also need a heart scale. So, in other words, I need to get at least one more. At least one more. I'm pretty sure there's going to be other Pokemon that need them as well. But that's okay, we'll deal with that when the time comes. In the meantime, though, I definitely want this one for Chansey, because this one's going to be awesome as well. Mock Punch is also worthwhile. Really, all of these are moves that I needed to uh, get a heart scale for eventually anyway. And uh, it's not too hard to get a heart scale, so I'll figure it out. But, Soft Boiled! Definitely a move I want to get because, you know, healing half your HP, and also something I can use in battle to heal as well, which is also awesome. Uh, mimics the move before it, that's, that, okay, cool, uh, heal, stuff like that, also cool, uh, we'll get rid of charm then. I don't have any offensive moves on this guy, I just realized, wow, they are all un not offensive moves, which is kind of funny. But, that's okay, we're gonna rectify that right now because I went ahead and did some more Voltorb Flip, and you know what that means, guys, it means I have... Uh, where are they? Ice Beam and Thunderbolt! And, uh, you know, Bolt Beam combo, always good. And Chansey has Serene Grace, which means I have double the chance of getting the Freeze and Paralysis on this guy, which is actually pretty cool. So, uh, doing that. Uh, 75% chance for Confusion is not worth it, so we'll get rid of that. I'll keep Refresh on probably for now, and in fact, I might actually just keep that on, um, for a while. And then, uh, I'll probably give it to, uh, I'll probably gonna teach, uh, I'm gonna teach it Toxic, basically. Blizzy's gonna be my absolute special defense stalling monsters can be my kind of plan so i'll get rid of copycat because that's kind of unreliable and that's gonna be the plan for chancy so there we go move sets already developing let's go to turtwig now i guess and uh learn him i'm gonna just keep chancy on here for a while uh, just let's, look, let's take a look at chancy's stats though because just look at this look at the hp i have 127 only at level 19 though and 47 special defense his attack stat is nine <laughs> that's so funny anyway um I don't know, I'm interested to use this. It'll be cool. Level up! And you know what that means, guys. Another level up, actually, that's kind of funny. Um, for the record, by the way, I'm going to train everyone to 41, probably, to catch up with Slowbro. Just because, I don't know, might as well. So, Little Foo is evolving. One of two evolutions that we're going to be seeing. Probably going to see the next one right after this, unless Blissey evolves first. But, uh, here we go! Got ourselves a Grottle, which are pre is pretty cool. Torterra is going to be a fun Pokemon. I haven't raised one actually ever in-game. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon I did, though. Interesting stuff. See you guys in a sec. And there we go. Level 32. Get the attack boost. It learns Leech Seed, actually. Wow, I didn't actually realize it learned something at level 32. Pretty cool. Um, that's actually kind of worth teaching at the moment. Um, what kind of set do I want to give this guy, though? That's the question. Um, thinking about it. Oh, I, I know what I want to do anyway, so I don't need a Mega Drain or Curse, because I'm, I'm gonna replace those two moves eventually anyway. Uh, because I, I was trying to remember what he learns, and um, I'm going to def in an in-game run, you would definitely want to take the recovery moves when you can. So, uh, he will learn a recovery move eventually. So I'll just put Leech Seed on there before, until then, because Leech Seed can be useful. But, here we go! Another fully evolved starter, and I'm not going to teach this guy Frenzy Plant, by the way. He's, no, he's a physical attacker, not a special attacker. There's no reason to. But, uh, Torterra, pretty awesome Pokemon. And I believe he learns Earthquake. Which is awesome, because he just gained a ground typing, so now I have a stab earthquake, which is just decimating. Um, want to keep the grass stab, want to keep the dark coverage, so we'll just get rid of... I don't... Well, no, this... The thing about curse is, it raises your attack, it raises your defense, but it lowers your speed, so in the end, it's not the best anyway, because you're just kind of wasting a turn when, in-game, in you can just do two earthquakes, and it'll be just as good. Just why like boosting moves are... They're, they're good for, like, sweeping in, like, competitive, but in, like, a game like this... Not really as useful, in my opinion. But, uh, there we go. Torterra. I need a heart scale, though, so we can teach another move. But, uh, we'll get that eventually, hopefully, possibly, soon, hopefully. So, yeah. Be, uh, we'll, we'll 
Training continues. Bye. All right, so we're here in the move reeler uh, guy because I got a hard so a hard skill. Uh, a good way to get it is to use rock smash. You can occasionally get them from breaking rocks. Uh, Sunwood City is especially good for that because there's a lot of rocks there and you can easily just reset them by going inside the house. So uh, he has wood hammer here. Uh, it has recoil, which is a little annoying, but it's a really powerful physical grass move, perfect for him. Uh, Leech Seed can help off, uh, you know, um, negate the whole uh, taking damage thing, plus I'll learn a recovery move. So basically, right now I have massively strong stab moves for uh, Torterra, which is pretty awesome. Grass Ground has some pretty good coverage. Um, not the best coverage, but it's going to be certainly good enough, and... Uh, well, that's going to work pretty well. So, Torterra is pretty good to go. Just got to finish training. See you guys in a bit. Alright, and we're finally done with the training, which means it's time to do the bonus part of this video, which is to do all the trainers that we have to rematch. Pretty exciting stuff. Basically, I'll go ahead and uh, show off the Pokemon I have at the moment, though, or, or well, the, the ones I've raised. So, here's a Hitmonchan turn out. Thunder Punch, Sky Uppercut, Ice Punch, Mock Punch, pretty good. Torterra has Wood Hammer, which is really strong, but it has Recoil, so Syn Synthesis helps uh, to heal that. Earthquake Bite. I gave uh, him the Muscle Band, and I gave uh, him the Life Orb. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but uh, that's what I'm doing. Blissey is going. It's actually pretty good as a healer, surprisingly. Uh, softball, Thunderbolt, Refresh, Ice Beam. With Serene Graze, I have a 20% chance for Paralysis and a 20% chance for Freeze, though. Which means it has a good chance of passing on Stasis, it can heal, and it can pretty much take any sort of, you know, special attack ever. Because its special defense is massive, and its HP is humongous. It's twice as much as Torterra, it's ridiculous. So, we're gonna go ahead and just start fighting people, and, uh, by the end of this video, we will have, uh, all of them done, and basically we'll be able to, re we'll be ready to move on to Kanto. So, Joey! His, re his Rattata is now Eradicate, that is top percentage, but that's okay, because, you know, Mach Punch is just gonna say, screw you. Stab boosted, Iron Fisted boosted, half, or, er, uh, Mach Punch, half punch? Doesn't make any sense at all. So, I do lose health because of Life Orb, which is unfortunate, but, you know... Whatever I'll make do. So, basically, what you do, what I'm going to need to do, basically, is uh, oh, you're gonna get a uh, stuff. You're gonna give me HP up. Excellent. So I can get some stuff from that. That's pretty good. Mother, you're apparently going to give me items as well. We'll pick those up at the end of the video just to see uh, what they are. Because there is an item left that could be very useful to get that I want to get. So yeah. Anyways, um, I'm well, I'm going here. I want to go to the Poke here. So uh, if you're done for route, then. Basically, we'll, we'll check the route, and it's going to say, yeah, so this one's clear. So the next route is going to be, uh, well, we'll head down here then. So that's the plan. See you guys there. All right, the question is going to be which trainer is. Is it you? It is you. Okay, so you're the trainer that we get to fight today. Um, or, well, um, with the ones on here. It could also be Ralph the Fisherman. He could also be another one. So you have Weeping Bell. That's pretty cool. Uh, Ice Punch, obviously, going to be an easy kill from here. Uh, Hitmonchan is very good at uh, super effective moves, so... It can definitely deal a lot of damage with the uh, basically the bolt beam coverage, except it's Thunder Punch and Ice Punch. But uh, with Iron Fist, it actually does just as much as a, a base power as a Thunderbolt or an Ice Beam would be. So uh, go figure. And a Thunder Punch is going to be good coverage on this area. It's the only one that's not going to be. Uh, actually, no. Ice Punch would also be not very effective. But whatever. That's Thunder Punch. Didn't kill. Whatever. Flatter. Don't be flattering me. Uh, that's basically Swagger, except it raises your special attack instead of your attack, which is sucks to be me. Let's we'll just go ahead and go for a Mach Punch. I know it, it, it's, it, it should kill. It should kill, is what I'm trying to say. So, no, it didn't. Wow. What, that sucks, because that's actually going to make me waste uh, health there. Life Orb does wear down pretty fast. I guess I should have just gone for the Thunder Punch and play it safe, but whatever. No, don't do that. Come on. Come on. Don't need to be having this confusion bullshit. Just hit the mock punch, please. Okay. Don't hit the mock punch, please. Well, I can survive this one, so you know what? You know what? I think we're fine. We're gonna go for it. I say we're gonna be fine. And we're gonna be fine. Look at that. I'm ballsy for doing that, but it worked out in the end. Actually, this actually gives me an uh, interesting opportunity to show off something pretty cool. So, uh... Yeah, I'll go ahead and show that off here, where basically, um, you can use Soft Boil outside battle. It, re it reduces uh, Blissey's HP by about 50% or so, but uh, it gives you HP back, so you can actually heal your Pokémon. So I actually have a dedicated healer now, which is going to be pretty useful in some areas, where I can just sort of, um, like, you can always just, you know, waste Blissey's HP, and then either bring it out in battle and Soft Boiled, or, um, 
You can also, you know, just, uh, he, you can use one potion basically instead of, like, four. On four different Pokemon, which is kind of useful. And I guess, um, this route's probably clear. So, is it? It appears to be clear. So, over here. Next. Anyways, next route, and I'm sorry if my voice seems a bit raspy in this video, um, I've recorded a lot of stuff today, so... Might, I, I, I'm like, my voice is like, right now is like, eh, and also kind of starting to get a bit of a cold, which sucks. But whatever, um, this guy, next one to go with, and, uh, Hitmonchan versus a Graveler. Pretty much good odds for me, because I can just go for a Sky Uppercut. I gave him a Sky Uppercut or a Drain Punch just because of, uh, more power. I think Sky Uppercut does get the, uh, it does get the boost from Iron Fist as well. So it's pretty worthwhile. Uh, close Combat also gets the boost, and, uh, Hitmonchan does learn that eventually, so I'm going to give it Close Combat in the end anyway. Which will be there in case it's just like a massively powerful attack, basically, is the plan for that. So, a Machoke, I thought it was a Machamp. That might be a, a future one as well, because um, these guys can rematch you more than once, obviously. So, it could be a future one for that. Um, I could have sworn he had a Machamp at some point. I don't know. Not complaining. Basically, just going to take him down. Is this going to be after level up? Not quite. So close. Oh, well. Uh, onward to the next area, then. Alright, is it you? Yep, you're one of them. I don't know if there's gonna be more than one. There could be more than one, because I know there's a few phone calls on this one in this area, I believe. But Camper Todd, you just have a Geodude! You're at level 17! You have not been training your Pokemon, son. I am disappointed. I could have actually probably switched out there. Would have been able to um, split the experience a little bit better, but oh well. So the Geodude goes down there. Gonna gain some experience. Gonna gain go over to level 41, which I think is actually gonna be a new move. Is it? Mega Punch! Mega Punch, um, I mean, it has good base power, and it is boosted by Iron Fist. Actually, it doesn't have very good base power. It, 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 there's really no reason to get it, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna give up on it. There's no reason for me to learn Mega Punch at all. Psyduck, you're exciting and interesting. Whoa, okay, you're level 31. Well, then, um, actually, if you're gonna be, I'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, use this opportunity to, to show off Little Foo. So, we'll train Little Foo next, uh, show Foo off. Let's say she, but it's one again, so once again, gender confusion. Male Pokemon, female El Pierre. Oops. And a wood hammer. Awesome attack. I love the logs everywhere. Does a ton of damage. It does give recoil though, so uh use it sparingly. It's the only reason why I'm not giving him the life the life uh orb, because wood hammer plus life orb is just gonna be excessive. And I wanna make sure I don't kill myself, that would be bad. Geodude, um, you're not really a threat. In fact, you know what? I'll just kill you with a bite, because you're level 17 and I'm level 40. So yeah, about that guy, uh, not gonna happen. So, that is the end of Camper Todd. And is that it for this area, is the question. And it's not, so there's more guys here. So let's go find that person. Is it you? Yeah, it wouldn't be the police officer. It is you! Okay, cool. So, uh, basically, I brought, I switched, uh, Torterra in. And we'll just, you know easily dispatch of this person. Level 24 hop up, not really too threatening. Uh, my best, see, the only problem is, like grass and fighting, grass and ground don't have very good coverage, because uh, flying walls it, bug walls it, poison does not wall anymore, so uh, it has that over it, but uh, not really the best combination either, but I do have Bite, which is uh, certainly better than what Breloom has, which she doesn't have any coverage at all. So while I could give this guy a rock type to really cover all my weaknesses, um, I find it more pertinent to give the rock move, uh, Rock Slide basically will get eventually to Breloom, because that covers all the weaknesses basically. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take this opportunity to heal, because I can. So, ha! What should you do now? I can heal my HP back to full. It is very useful to have a recovery move on your Pokemon, just helps on the end. Unfortunately, with Grass Ground typing, I'm not I don't resist Grass moves, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, Torterra actually has a pretty good defense, even with the defense lowering nature. Which does suck that I got the defense lowering nature, but uh, in the end, it's more important to have offenses than uh, defenses in, in the, at least in the uh, the story mode. Competitive, obviously, you want to have your defenses too, but whatever. This bite should finish up the hop-up, and I'll take care of this route, which means we'll just have to go find more trainers to fight, and so on and so forth. Uh, the end. Just kind of, you know, this is why I'm making a bonus video, because it really has no point. That my voice just sucks right now. Jeez. It is you! Yay! Found you! Unfortunately, if you're a bug catcher, like I said, bug resists both my stab, which is annoying. But it's just a Venonat, level 36 Venonat. Why haven't you evolved yet? When does Venonat evolve? I don't remember. But, uh, Bite's gonna do 
a good chunk of damage at least. Half. Flinch. Flinch. Flinch is awesome. Gotta love that flinch. Gotta kill the venom that. Yeah. Should not try to sing when I already have don't have a voice at all. So that is how I battle indeed. Uh, so that went well. Next. Uh, well, is that the end of this area? We should probably check that first. It is. Excellent. Oh, okay. It's you. You're the culprit. I thought this is one of the ones that's supposed to give you items. I guess not. Or I guess they could be both. They could probably battle you as well. I imagine that would probably make sense. Anyways, we know it's coming. Earthquake! Is this the first time we've shown Earthquake? I don't quite remember. But, uh, there's Earthquake right there. Going to do quite a bit of damage to the Flaffy. In fact, it's probably going to kill it. Yep. Earthquake from Torterra is pretty darn strong. It's kind of funny that I lose one uh, physical starter that we can learn Earthquake, and I get another one, though. Plus, you know, now I have the water, fire, grass again for the stars, which is nice. So, Psyduck, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and hit him with the wood hammer. Guaranteed kill. Not taking any chances. No reason to. So, um, yeah, I know recoil. Blah, blah. Sucks to have the recoil, but what can you do? Oh, I guess that's it for that fight. I thought there'd be uh, another Pokemon, but I wasn't counting, I guess. Is that it for this, or is there another one? Ah, wrong place to go. Poke Gear, not Pokemon. Uh, yep, but there's one on Route 39, so I'll meet you there. Alright, it's probably this guy. I bet it's this guy. It's... Oh! Or you can give me a nugget! I, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with free money. Free money is always very nice. You, is it you? It's not you either. Um, who is it then? Is it the person way up here? Are you the one I'm... Did I just, like, pass you up and completely forget you? Is there someone in this route? No, no, there isn't. So why did it say there was when I checked? Well, whatever. Oh, oh, the nugget does count. That's right. You can't. Um, if, even the nugget does count for it. So that would be why. Duh, lucky. Pay attention. All right, the next rematch is over here somewhere. I'm not quite sure who it is though. It's one of these people. It's probably the fisherman down here. I suspect you. And I was correct. Fishing is boring to him. You should reconsider your career, sir. Because if your career is boring you, then you probably have problems. Anyways, uh, water poison type leaves it pretty vulnerable to an earthquake. So, even with... Oh, it went first. Surprising. But, uh, even with the defense boost, I'm sure I'll be fine. So, well, actually, we'll see. Am I fine? Is the defense boost going to be enough to stop the earthquake? That's a really long animation now that I think about it. But no... No, it's not. It's a stab earthquake from a Torterra. You're not living that. Anyways, level 41. Pretty awesome. Uh, no new move, though. That's okay. We don't need the new move. Mother! Again, with the new items. Always exciting. We'll check her, like I said, at the end of this part. Yes, yes, I know. That's it for this area, correct? 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 Correct. I suspect you! I was correct. Excellent. So, I have Blissing and now, so will the uh, Kung Fu Premier. Although this is not a very good matchup because Nidorina can have double kick and it's probably going to hurt, but um, we'll go for it anyway. I'm faster. It's kind of surprising I have a speed reducing nature. Blissing's not known for her speed, but uh, it is an 8 level difference, so go figure. Wow, I one shot. Oh, it's a crit, okay. Uh, Blissey's not very strong offensively, it's more of, obviously going to be more of a defensive Pokemon, although I have an extra special attack, so it can be uh, pretty good, but we'll go for Thunderbolt here. I'm not expecting it to kill, I'm kind of looking for the Paralysis as well, though, and I think I can level Double Kick, because I have just because just I have so much HP. Poison Sting, not going to be that bad. Yeah, only 13. In fact, I think Leftovers is going to recover that much. Is it? Yes, Leftovers recover that much. Leftovers on a Chansey... It heals a good, like a good like 15, 16 health already, which is just silly. It's just absolutely silly, but it works. So, uh, and also Ch Blissey does have, as you can see, a lot of extra, um, or it, it, it's, it gains levels really, really fast. Like, I already am over at half a level, just from one trainer. So, the nice thing about Blissey is it's going to be really, really quick to raise, and that makes me happy. So, Thunderbolt's going to probably kill the Gyarados, I would imagine. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. 
and it does. So, you know, Blissey, despite, you know, being a tanky Pokemon, can still hold her own. Look at that, I almost gained a level just from that one fight. That's pretty funny. Anything to say? No. Is that it for this route? Yes. Okay, meet you guys back there. And Kung Fu grows to level 41. As you can see, it pretty much gains like 7 HP per time, which is just silly, but also pretty awesome. So, uh, I'll switch, uh, Genius in here, why not? Okay, cool. We have it. We have it, uh, an item. Pokeball, we get, it gives an, an Ultra Ball. Well, that's useful. Definitely gonna make use of that. Is that all for this route? No, there's another guy here as well. Excellent. Let's go find him. Uh, I think it's probably gonna be the one by the ice path. That's gonna be my guess, I think. Right? It's gonna be you, right? Right? Yep, I'm right. Excellent. Yes, I did see the legendary Pokemon. In fact, I caught it without even using a Master Ball. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, Genius is just gonna wrap this thing up with Ice Beam because it's Bird Trainer, so, uh, I'm expecting them to all be flying types. If it wasn't a flying type, you would not live up to your name, so Ice Beam would be very good here. So, uh, that takes down the Hoot Hoot, and I'm knocked out, or Pidgeotto. Cool. Um, not really too much improvement. I wouldn't expect to see that much improvement for at, at this point because, you know, we're, we're getting to the trainers who are pretty much, you know, at the level they were when we fought them. So, I mean, we just fought these guys not too long ago, like within 10 videos. So, there you go. That takes care of Vance. Vance. Your name rhymes with Lance, Lance. And, uh, stuff? Ooh, a Carbos. Uh, we'll give that to people in a bit. But, uh, for now, we go fly elsewhere. Well, I guess while we're here, we'll check the Pokemon Mart and see if there's anything worthwhile to get. Focus Sash, that's what I was hoping for. So I think that's the last significant item, um, besides berries. Uh, already have now as berries, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the last good item we get from Mom. Which, uh, oh, hi, didn't mean to talk to you, Genius. Okay, you're gonna go shopping, Genius, that's cool, you're a penguin, I guess you can do that. So Focus Sash, very useful. Um, basically, it prevents you from ever being killed but in one hit. So, uh, if you're at full HP, you're brought down to to death, you get to survive on 1 HP, which can be really useful for a trained Pokemon and for Pokemon that are very weak or four times weak to something like, say, uh, well, like Breloom, for example. Um, also very useful for um, if I'm going to use Ar Arbok's Paralysis to get Legendaries, because they can't one-shot Arbok then. Very, very useful for that, so uh, glad I have that. I don't want to buy something, I want to sell something. I want to sell that Nugget, so, uh, Nugget! Give me money! As you can see, I'm already back- wow, I just completely squeaked there. I'm already back up to about, like, 27,000, which is more than enough, I think, to really last for the rest of the game. Um, because given what I have, I'm pretty sure uh, I won't need to worry about too much. So, I need to find this guy. I need to be careful about that, because uh, I need to make sure I know I go on the right path. So, this might take a couple tries. I'll meet when I find him. Wait, what? You shouldn't drink HP up, dude. That's kind of a bit weird. Oh, of course. It's the very last person I check. I am so very good at this game. Wow, that was annoying. Anyway, Onyx versus a choice specs surf from an Empoleon. Yeah, have fun with that, Mr. Onyx. You're probably dead. In fact, you're definitely dead. Choice specs Empoleon hits like a truck. Anyways, and uh, a Graveler, not worry about that either. So that's going to be pretty much it for uh, this guy. And that's good. And that's it for all the trainers. So that means everything's taken care of before we head to Kanto. Which means, uh, in the next episode, guys, we head out to Kanto and make our way to Victory Row in the Elite Four. And also, you're giving me an item, aren't you? Yay! I could have used that to save money, but uh, I didn't, so that's okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and give these items to people quickly, and then we will go ahead. And uh, I guess, is there anything else I, I want to take care of? Not really. Um, HP up will give to Kung Fu, obviously, and I also am going to give the, the iron to Kung Fu. Actually, um, yeah, I'll give the iron to Kung Fu as well, because it needs defense. And speed, that one's going straight to Hitmonchan, because I want to be fast. So, like I said, this is uh, Lucky Some Dex signing out. Stay tuned for Adventures in Kanto. See you guys next time. Bye bye.